Last iteration is governance iteration. It covers implementation governance and architecture change management phase. So this iteration covers phase G and phase H. Let's look into implementation governance phase. So in this phase, as an architect, your job is to ensure that the implementation team conforms with the architecture that you have defined. As an enterprise architect, you need to make sure development, testing and deployment team conforms with the architecture that you have defined. In this phase, you also prepare and issue architecture contracts and ensure that the implementation project conforms to the architecture. And this phase ends when the solutions are fully deployed. Architecture change management provides continual monitoring and change management process to ensure that the architecture responds to the need of enterprise and maximizes the value of architecture to the business. This monitoring is usually done with the help of software tools. In this phase, you need to ensure that the architecture governance is being followed and architecture capability is maintained. Now, let's also look at the center phase that's the requirement management. As change comes in, the requirement management phase, which is residing in the center of ADM, has process to address the requirement changes. And as shown, it feeds to each of the phases in ADM. So that's a very high level overview of various phases of ADM cycle. In the next section, we'll be doing a deep dive into each of these phases. Thanks, happy learning and God bless.